When you're ready for a mortgage, you'll have to decide whether to go variable or fixed. With a fixed rate mortgage, your interest rate and monthly payment will stay the same across your term. With a variable rate, on the other hand, your interest rate and monthly payments are likely to fluctuate over the course of your term. We've brought in mortgage broker Ian Mackay to walk you through both types of rates and show you the differences in more detail. As Alyssa mentioned, your variable rate mortgage will start with a lender's prime rate. The lender will either offer you a premium or a discount to their prime rate. In this illustration, your lender has offered you a variable rate mortgage at a discount of prime minus 0.45%. With a current prime rate of 3%, your effective interest rate for your variable rate mortgage is 2.55%. If prime were to increase to 4%, your effective interest rate would be 3.55%. And if prime were to increase to 5%, your effective interest rate would be 4.55%. Important points to consider are that your relationship with Prime never changes throughout the term and that Prime can change based upon the Bank of Canada overnight lending rate. Let's say you've just purchased a home for $300,000 and have a 5% down payment. In this example, with a five-year fixed interest rate at 2.93%, you would have a monthly mortgage payment of $1,375. With a variable rate mortgage with an effective interest rate of 2.55%, you would have a monthly mortgage payment of $1,319. In this example, the variable rate mortgage payment is less. However, you must consider that your payment can fluctuate throughout the length of the term. Two years into your term, Prime has increased to 4%. What that means is the effective interest rate of your variable rate mortgage has increased to 3.55%. That also means that your effective monthly mortgage payment has increased to $1,470. Now let's look at how much these interest rates would cost you over a five-year term. Since fixed interest rates remain the same over five years, we simply multiply the payment times 60 months. That would give you an effective mortgage payment over five years of $82,500. For the variable rate, we must calculate the payments for the first two years when the rate was 2.55% and then calculate the payments for the last three years when the rate was 3.55%. The payment for the first two years is $31,656 and the payment for the last three years was $52,920 for a total of $84,576. In this example, payments for the five-year fixed are lower than the five-year variable rate. However, that is not always the case. While 60% of Canadians prefer the stability of a fixed interest rate, variable rate interest rates have been lower over the past 10 years. A fixed rate provides stability and eases budgeting anxiety because it is constant over the duration of the term. However, when the fixed rate is significantly higher, the stability is often not worth the premium.